Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how I make my oven roasted sweet potato fries. They're so simple to make, they are incredibly delicious, and of course, sweet potatoes are in season, so load up. They're very nutritious, they're much healthier for you than a regular potato, and of course, we're not going to fry these, we're going to roast them to beautifully golden, crispy perfection. Now, the ingredients for this could not be easier. You're going to need some sweet potatoes, of course, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and totally optional, some chili powder. Now, the reason why I like to use just a pinch of chili powder to with my sweet potato fries is because I love that tiny little bit of a kick that it gives to the sweet potatoes. You know what I mean? It's a great balance. Now, first thing you want to do is get your oven to 450. You want it really nice and hot. Second thing you want to do is stick a baking sheet, line it with aluminum foil, and pop it in the oven for like 10 minutes to get it really nice and hot because that's when it kind of create, help create a delicious crust on the fries. So, in this bowl, we're going to cut, first we're going to cut our fries. I'm just going to cut the end, and I'll show you how I cut them. Just cut it in half, like so. And then I just cut it in like, you know, kind of french fry shapes, like that. Now these potatoes are huge, so I'm going to cut those in half, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this in half, like this, and then cut that in half, and then just make, you know, steak fries out of them. To my cut fries, I'm going to drizzle them with some olive oil. You can use extra virgin or plain olive oil, a couple of tablespoons. Season it with a bit of salt and pepper. And then, of course, like I mentioned, I'm going to put in a pinch of chili powder. Make sure you do season them with salt really well because it does need a bit of salt because they're so sweet. Just a bit of chili powder, as much or as little as you like. I happen to love chili powder. And then I'm just going to use my hands to toss them into all these delicious flavors. That looks fantastic. I also took out my um, baking sheet out of the oven, so it's nice and hot. I'm going to drizzle the bottom with just a touch of olive oil. I'm going to pop these right on there. Did you hear that? The baking sheet's nice and hot. I'm just going to put these down on a single layer because you want these to roast and you don't want them to steam. It's really, really important that they're not all on top of each other. If you have more than this and you want to do this on two baking sheets. Now this is going to go into your preheated oven, 450, for I would say about 35 to 40 minutes or until they're the desired crispiness you like. But halfway through, just go in there and just give them a nice little shake, you know, and then going to let them continue to cook until they're completely done. Look at these. Aren't they just gorgeous? Look at the color on them. They're nice and crispy on both sides. Now these have been cooking for about 40 minutes, and I flipped them halfway through. So excited. I'm just going to put these on a platter, but you obviously can just eat them right out of the pan if you want to. But these just smell outrageous. I want to have this one right here. Mmm. It's so good, but really hot. So sweet, but it's got that little tiny bit of a kick from the chili powder. Perfect. Mmm. I absolutely love these. But you know, I like a lot of people. I don't like to do like a um, pota sweet potatoes with marshmallows on top. That's just really not my style of cooking, and it's really not the kind of food I enjoy. But for me, this something a recipe like this, it's simple, it's delicious, it showcases the vegetable beautifully because you're really not doing anything to it besides roasting it and bringing out its natural sweetness. So why add marshmallows to it when something like this tastes at its absolute best when treated super simple but cooked really well? That's it. You've seen how to do it. Now go to www.laurenkitchen.com to get the recipe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.